Greetings and welcome to part two of my series called The Good Stuff. Um, in this particular video, I want to show you an interesting way to create your own oscillator on the PC3. So let's go ahead and just get right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the default program. I've just booted up my keyboard. I'm going to hit edit. Okay, I'm going to hit none for my key map here. Now let's see here. Let's go to the amp page and I'm going to turn off velocity tracking. Okay, so now let's go to the algorithm page. Uh, I'm going to pick algorithm 102. Okay, so this is completely disconnected from any key map. In fact, um, so, so, so there's nothing that's coming into this, um, into this algorithm. Now let me show you a really cool trick on the PC3. Um, there's this block PW mod, I've introduced it in another video, and, and basically what it does is it applies DC offset to a sound, so it'll move it up um, relative to the center of, uh, of, let's say this is a plot of, uh, of voltage over time, okay? So it'll move it up by adding a constant voltage to the signal. Well, the fun thing about PW Mod is it also produces a very audible click when you just play it on its own. Listen. I think you can hear that on the, uh, the, the uh, I hope you can hear that on the, the camera microphone. Anyway, we're going to use PWMod right now to create our own oscillator. And actually, I, I flubbed this. I want to pick a different algorithm. Let's go to this guy here, 128. Okay, so we're going to pick PWMod. There's our click sound. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a gain block in here. Okay, now this is a sort of a classic trick um, reworked for the uh, PC3. So I'm going to pick a two-pole low-pass filter, okay? Uh, before I get too far into this, let's go to the amp amp page and turn it to user. So, so this envelope will open up and it'll just stay open forever, and that's what we want for this particular sound. Okay, let's go to the DSP mod page. All right, or uh, start DSP control. Let's go ahead, and for our filter here, I'm going to raise the resonance all the way up. Okay, and I'm going to play a key. Do you hear that? Okay, so a lot of keyboards actually kind of offer this feature if they have uh, resonant filters. Uh, a filter, if you add enough resonance to it, it essentially starts to self-oscillate. And the PC3 has that uh, in its, its filters, both in the, um, in, in the vast section of the instrument, which is where you put together programs, and also in the effects section. There's another, there, there are filters in that section too that have resonance and that can self-oscillate. Uh, and so that's what self-oscillation on the PC3 sounds like. Now, here's our friend Gain Block. And Gain is really awesome in this particular uh, scenario because it allows us to do some, some uh, shaping of this waveform. So right now, what you'd heard was essentially a uh, sine wave. And I think if I put this about here, yeah, so that's very similar to the sound. Now listen as I start scrolling through the gain. I get all sorts of different timbers by picking different amounts of gain. In fact, it responds in some ways to in a similar way to how FM synthesis works, where uh, if you add more uh, volume uh, between a carrier or uh, between the modulator and the carrier, if you add more volume to the modulator, it brings out more harmonics in the carrier. Uh, so, so I think basically what we're doing here, though, is we're just adding harmonics as, as our sine wave that comes out of the filter becomes more of a square wave. Uh, so you, this allows you to morph the waveform. So now. Of course, we want to be able to play the sound across the keyboard, so let's set key tracking to, whoops, that's way too high. Um, let's set it to 100 cents per key. And there's a glorious bass sound. Now, um, the, the, the uh, uh, self-oscillating filters in, in the vast section of the PC3 will not sustain forever. So if I hold a note down, okay, it'll eventually die out. Um, that's just part of, 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 of how these particular filters work. 
So now let's see here. Let's go ahead and I'm going to put this down to about 42 dB here. And we'll go go to DSP mod page. I'll pick the data slider real quick. And let's put this to about, I think I want, let's try about 20 decibels of gain. Yeah. There we go. So now we have this sound. we can play we can play it polyphonically now watch this we can also play it monophonically so let's go here and let's turn mono on now I don't know if you heard that just now but remember we're modulating the filter here okay so there's no oscillator that's involved yet we still have portamento that's right the filters or at least this particular filter on the PC3 uh, actually do portamento and they glide. Okay, so there we go. That is a basic um, introduction to one way that you can use PW Mod to create oscillators on the PC3. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.